The printing press has completely changed my perception of writing and publishing and how books are going to go forward and what it means to be a writer and an editor. Well, the press is printing from a raised surface that's inked and then pressed into paper or some other substrate. We set the type, put it into a larger frame, and we insert it into the press, lock it into place. We have to ink the rollers, and then it presses the ink onto the text turn the press on, and then the wheel starts to rotate and the text moves closer and presses into the paper. We have one foot in the 19th century and one in the 21st century. The deep relief polymer plates. Paper cutter, we have a guillotine, we have a board shear. Cardboard for the covers. Several hundred cans of ink, 1,500 cases of type, all the tools that are necessary to print posters and broadsides and poetry the way we do. Something happens when you put together a story and you see them in these plates and you see them pressed in handmade cotton mold paper by a 400 year old machine. The visual quality of the text printed on there adds another element to the story. It's beautiful and it makes a tactile impression. Words instantly take on this degree of credibility. It has weight, it has body, it has presence. I was surprised by how much I enjoyed setting type. Type as dimensional, type as an object, letters as objects. Your hands just do the motions and you just think of the words in your head and it's, it's like writing in that sense. Because each character is cast on a separate body of type, there is a distance between each of those. Finding out exactly how much space you need between each letter or each word. You have to learn to set the type upside down so that it prints right side up. Sometimes if you press it into your hand, you can make sure that it's facing the right way. We're in touch by hand with words. I love having Mike as a teacher because he's so knowledgeable about the material. Not only have I learned how much craft and love goes into just the simplest decisions of what physically goes onto a page, it made me look at my own work as an outsider looking in. You want to make sure that it's perfect and that you've edited it really well. It taught me a lot about editing and what the process of being a writer means. It really gives you time to think about what you're doing and what you're writing and why you're writing it. Why is it important that it has to go out? It gives you a sense of memory that you can look back and remember not only writing them but what you felt and what you did during the time that you wrote them. These are museum pieces. This is a working museum. And when we do this here, we are literally in touch with 500 years of printing history. This has been a great experience here at Washington College. I can't imagine having gotten that experience anywhere else but right here.